right, so here we have the, <coughs> excuse me, the Atlanta Hawks, and I apologize for the echo. Um, not terribly familiar with Mike Buttonholzer, um, but I'm assuming he has a Spurs background uh, based on Danny Ferry's involvement in the front office and kind of the way the Hawks have been headed. So let's see here, what stands out? Well, we're going to start off, we're going to start Jeff Teague with Kyle Korver, Paul Millsap, Damari Carroll most likely, um, and uh, Al Horford. I'm not really sure who else might start. Uh, but, okay, so uh, that starting lineup is actually extremely talented and very, um, a much better team than probably people realize. Uh, Jeff Teague is a legit point guard who plays, who can play great defense because uh, he's so quick and athletic. I mean, he's a freak, but he can also run the offense. He can get the team into their set. He's not a bad shooter, but I mean, really, that's not... His main role. His main role is going to be to get the team in the offense and to guard the uh, point guard on the other team or the quickest player on the other team. Uh, Kyle Korver, he'll be a floor spacer. Same with Damari Carroll. That's really their roles on the on, when they're on the court is to stand out of the three point line and sort of not you know uh, screw up on defense. Now, Al Horford and Paul Millsap are a very in, interesting uh, combination. They're almost like uh, like what, what the Bulls have with uh, Noah and, and Gasol, but extremely, you know, much shorter. But they're excellent passers. They're excellent at a team concept. They're, they're uh, just very aware basketball players. And uh, although Millsap is, is extremely undersized, which caused a lot of problems, uh, as far as defending the rim, which of course I harp on all the time. Uh, but Noah's there, I mean, Horford's there, and although he isn't the greatest shot blocker, he's someone that teams don't just drive to the hoop and ignore, he's, he's someone they have to take into account. So, although I think they're talented, I, I don't think that they have all the pieces necessary. Now, they, they did draft a very interesting player in Adrian Payne, who, uh, has the length and athleticism that Millsap lacks, and uh, if paired up with Horford, they could cause a real problem. And what's really interesting to keep in mind with Payne is, is Payne had started to develop a three-point shot with, uh, with, with uh, when he was at Michigan State, uh, but he has a 40-inch or something like that vertical leap. He's a legit 6'10", and his, his wingspan's over seven feet tall. He's, he's a shot blocker. He has great instincts. I mean, he was coached by Izzo. Um, and it looks like the Hawks are, are sort of trying to develop that sort of, they're trying to find a stretch for, um, they seem to want to play bigs and can shoot threes. I mean, they have Mike Scott from Virginia, who they've been trying to make into a stretch four. Um, Mike Muscala out of Bucknell, the center. Um, and of course, Adrian Payne and Damari Carroll, and even Al Horford to a degree, Paul Millsap to a degree. Those guys can all shoot jumpers. Uh, let's see who else. What else is interesting about? I mean, there's a lot of interesting things about the Hawks. They picked up Ken Bazemore, who was on the Warriors and the Lakers last year. He's a fantastic perimeter defender, super athletic. Uh, not a great shooter, but. He's kind of floated around a lot more because of his draft status than because of his talent level. He was a second round draft pick, so he's been able to pick up contracts wherever he wants. Now it's caused a few problems because teams don't want to pay the big money for him. But he's a he's a he's an extremely fascinating player because at six five, but with like I think a six eight six nine wingspan, he can guard anywhere from point guard down to down to a four, depending on the matchup. But I mean, he is such high range of defensive uh, uh, versatility. Uh, Elton Brand, what a great player to have on the bench because Elton Brand is basically Kevin Garnett light at this point. He's not going to score in there and give that, but he has super long arms, like seven, four wingspan, can still block shots, can move his feet, not that well, but 
He has great defensive anticipation, and his length alone, even though he's only 6'8", with his wingspan, he can stand and guard a lot of guys without having to jump. Um, so the second, the second unit is actually very interesting because you have uh, on the second unit probably Sheldon Mack, who ostensibly is a shooting guard but seems to be playing a, a mix match, a mix, mix match between point and shooting guard, depending on who else in the lineup. So if he's playing alongside Dennis Schroeder, the second year player point guard from Germany who looks fantastic. So you'd have possibly Dennis Scott or Dennis Schroeder with Sheldon Mack and Elton Brand and Kent Bazemore. And I guess they picked up Thabo Cephalosha who actually, if I'm sorry, I should be saying he probably started for Damari Carroll. So Damari Carroll on the second unit who I'm not very high on. Uh, Adrian Payne on the second unit. So, I mean, they have talent and the ability to put together a variety of lineups, which is extremely important in the NBA because a lot of teams have a have a starting five or go six deep. Now that's great, but the problem is is that they can't adjust to the other team. They can't take away the other team's strengths. They have to play continually to their strengths. And it looks like the Hawks have at least put together a team that obviously, in my at least in my opinion will not compete for the NBA championship, but at the same time, what's as weak as the East is, the Hawks are definitely not out of the Eastern Conference Finals, that's for sure, and um, I, I definitely see them making a lot more noise in the East than, say, uh, the Wizards, or um, I can't really think of any other teams right now, but I really think the Hawks are much, much better than, say, the Wizards, who... Uh, really overachieved last year, but don't have the returning talent that, say, the Hawks do. And the Hawks really suffered from injuries last year. Horford was out most of the year. Uh, so this could look like a completely different team and really surprise quite a few teams. So Atlanta Hawks, 2014-15.